Hi, I'm Jeffrey Ozama. Here's your Channels TV evening news recap for Tuesday, May the 7th, 2019. Senator Demola Deleke has been arraigned before a magistrate court in the Mbappe area of Abuja on five charges bordering on false statement and forgery. The senator, who is a member of the People's Democratic Party, pleaded not guilty to all five charges proffered against him. He was subsequently granted bail in the sum of two million naira and one shorty in like sum, who must be a resident of the Federal Capital Territory. Senator Adeleke was arrested at the police headquarters on Monday after he honored an invitation by the force. Inspector General of Police Mohamed Adamu has appeared before the Senate for a briefing on steps being taken to tackle insecurity in the country. After the closed door meeting with lawmakers, the police chief told journalists that the Senate made some suggestions to him which he plans to look into as soon as possible. The Senate had invited Adamu on Tuesday last week after deliberating on banditry, kidnappings and other crimes troubling the nation. Some aggrieved members of the Bagby village in the Federal Capital Territory blocked the convoy of the Vice President, Professor Yemi Shibajo, on his way to the airport. The villagers who were accused in the military of invading their land set up a barricade along the Umaru Musa Yaradua Expressway, which connects the city to the airport. Air Force Vice, the Vice President's security aides to appease the protesters failed, after which he had to come down from his vehicle and address them. Two more cases of African swine fever has been detected in South Africa following an outbreak of the disease in the northwestern province. Earlier in April, some cases had been detected in the central province of Gauteng and Ubupalanga, a province in the north. According to the Minister of Agriculture, the same virus has been responsible for all the outbreaks. Writers, journalists Walong and Kwaso Ho have walked free after being imprisoned for more than 500 days in Miami. Both journalists were convicted of leaking state secrets while reporting on the Rohingya crisis. Many saw their conviction as an assault on press freedom and raised questions about Myanmar's democracy. And that's your Channel's TV Evening News Recap on Tuesday, May 7, 2019.